All right, so the tactic is uh, you want to be social on a social network. You want to post content. And the thing about these social networks really is the more you use them, the better, because you're casting this net to catch these fish. If you're only posting on Instagram once a month, you're not going to maybe reach the audience you're trying to reach. That's why part of the assignment, uh, which might sound excessive, is actually a good strategy. I'll pull up the assignment in a moment. It's, it's been available since Monday if you haven't seen it yet. But the assignment is that you're going to need to post one photo at least every day from today until next Wednesday. But we'll get to that in a moment. Um, we want to put content on our, on our profile so that people could be enticed uh, to follow us. So if we don't have good content, interesting content, relevant content to people, why would they follow us? We might give likes all day long and we won't get followers because we don't have anything to entice people to follow. So some of the nuances to um, to adding uh, content is about using those hashtags. And actually I have something right here you might want to look at. This is part of the homework. Uh, I'm going to pull this up in a web browser. There's various websites out there for for tracking this stuff because if you say, okay, use hashtags, but what hashtag should I use? Here's a website. Uh, Webster.me slash hot. It's on the homework, but this is the link, w-e-b-s-t-a dot me slash hot. This is going to list what are some hot or trending tags that you could use. So for example, hashtag love um, is very popular. It's used by one billion, not million, billion posts on Instagram. Uh, what else here? Hashtag follow me. Hashtag cute. Beautiful. Friends. Fun. Baby. Nice. So this list here, webster.me slash hot, could give you an idea of what are the, what are the hundred, uh, yeah, the, the 100 tags that are most popular then you could also uh, target specifically the top 10 in a particular country. And this gives you an idea of what tags to use. This is not telling you to take the top 10 tags and force them onto all of your posts. Even though a lot of people like those tags and use those tags and search those tags, and you will get some traffic from them, but you're not going to be using the tags effectively. Like some of these photos that I just put about technology, why would I put cute? You know, that phone that I posted wasn't cute or happy or me and such. Those don't quite um, relate. So you want to make sure you're using tags that do relate to what your account or what your photos are about. Like yummy. I see the dog tag is number 80 and the cat tag is number 91. So looks like dogs are more popular on Instagram than cats. Now using this website also, you can look at, if you scroll down past the hot tags, you can look at top 100 Instagrammers. And you're going to see who's got the most followers and such on Instagram. 
but then the concept here is you could look at these particular accounts to see what they're posting, to see what kind of photos they post, and get an idea so that you can post in those sorts of concepts like National Geographic, Nat Geo. So obviously National Geographic is going to have some of the best photos in the world, but it could give you an idea what they're posting so that you can have an idea. I can take a photo like that. It's not that complicated. It's fireworks, people standing in front of fireworks. I could take that photo. Now I'm not going to jump in the ocean and take a photo of that but uh, have a pool. So looking at these particular popular accounts, you could think of ideas yourself uh, to emulate. You might not have as many uh, followers as Vin Diesel, but looking at what he posts could give you an idea what you can post. See, like that. Anyone can post that photo with their dog. So the thing really is we're going to be seeing... There's still other things that we can talk about, but I think we have some of the basic ideas. The big idea is to be social on a social network, to give likes, to give comments, to give follows, you'll get some back. To post, uh, to post photos. The actual content of the photos is going to depend on what you're trying to do on Instagram or what kind of audience you're trying to build on Instagram. Get inspiration from popular accounts for you to, to post. If you don't know what to post, look at what the popular accounts are posting. Get inspiration maybe of hashtags keywords to use that are relevant to your photos. Don't over don't overuse them. Don't get 30 of these tags and just put them on your on your photos. Um, recently, um, maybe the last year or so, Instagram had a big shakeup where they went in and deleted a lot of spam accounts. So people that used to have lots of followers suddenly went down because Instagram took out the spam accounts. Uh, so that often happens if you just put too many hashtags, too many keywords, that, especially that don't relate to your photo. So we're going to switch gears a little bit and we'll pull up the homework to see what it's about. But any, any questions um, on Instagram at this point? So let's do this. Let's go to your desktop and let's open the web design folder on your computer because the homework number four is in there, number three also. So we've got homework number three and number four for this week. Um, you look at number three on your own, but go into the web design folder on your desktop and then open the CIS257 folder. And then you'll see CIS25704, Instagram. You want to drag a copy of that from my folder to your desktop. So drag a copy and then double click it to view it. I'll turn the printer back on in a moment if you want to print. But don't print while I'm doing the lecture yet, please. It's been there since Monday, yes. So we'll look at this uh, Instagram, a little bit of history on Instagram. Here's your setup. It's basically telling you download Instagram, create an account, and complete the following here. So you want to make sure you've got, you're going to be graded on this. So you want to make sure you do as many of these as possible under tasks. Add your profile photo. So if you still got that blank little empty blue icon, that's not so good. Fill in the biography. If you've got a website, add the link. If you don't, leave it empty. And what you want to do is send me an email 
telling me your Instagram account address. When you created Instagram, it asked you for a username. To check what your username is, you should be able to go to your profile On that particular account that I have here, my username is the VMCINK. So when you go to your profile on the app, on yours, you're going to see your, your name at the very top. But I have to know about your account. So you're going to send me an email that has your your Instagram uh, name, your Instagram profile URL. Then what you're going to do is follow at least five accounts on Instagram. You follow, you might already have 40, but based on this assignment, you want to uh, follow, you want to search and follow five accounts. You can unfollow them later if you want, but most likely you want to follow them because you want to also gets follow backs. So you're going to follow five accounts. And then here's the big part of it. Post a new original picture every day from September 2nd to September 9th. So one week from today until next Wednesday, you're going to post every day a brand new picture. And Instagram will tell me that you posted all seven of them in one day. It's marked with a date. So you do want to post one anytime between midnight and midnight, one picture every day starting today until next Wednesday. You can post it technically about anything, your cat, your breakfast, whatever. The best thing will be to post pictures related to your company. You know, might as well use it for real. Post a, take a photo of that product. Take a, a photo of your business location, of your happy employees. Maybe you're a blogger. Take a photo of your screen writing your blog, uh, or your keyboard, or your hands on the keyboard, whatever. Think about a photo that is relevant to your company, because you're going to post one every day from now until next Wednesday. And you're going to add at least one hashtag to every picture. Remember, you can add up to 30, but I'm going to say between 3 and 5, you're going to be required one hashtag on every picture, um, and you want to be creative, so I would recommend different hashtags on different pictures. Again, this is the big secret of many of my classes. Um, you can easily get an A in this class, um, but you want to learn this stuff to apply it for a purpose. You know, if you ask me for an A, I can give you an A, sure, and then don't come to class and you have an A. But does it, did it work? Did you learn something? You know, if you take a math class and you get an A out of the class, but you didn't know how to do calculus, you know, it doesn't, it didn't do you any good to get that A in that class. So there's a minimum amount of effort that you can do, and then, of course, effort for you to improve. So you're going to add hashtags. You're going to start to keep track of your followers on that analytics document that we created on Monday. So starting next Monday, you want to put in there how many followers you have. And I didn't mention anything about video, but Instagram lets you upload video. 15 second videos. So that's extra credit. You can get two more points which is 20% of an assignment, because every assignment is 10 points, 2 points is 20%. You can get up to 2 more points on this assignment if you also upload videos. If you also upload videos, you have to put the 7... What's that? Um, you can put 7 videos, but you're only going to get 2 extra credit points. So you only want... so you want 2, ex, two videos for 2 extra credit points but you have to put the seven pictures. That's the required part. The extra credit part is extra credit. Uh, so any day between now and next week, you can add two videos to get two extra credit points, but you have to do a, a photo every day 
for the rest of the week. So you will be graded on your ability to set up Instagram and complete the tasks by the deadline. And the deadline is next September, Wednesday, the 9th, 11 p.m. Quick reminder, we don't have class this Monday. So if you show up here, tell me how it went, because I won't be here. Next Wednesday is when we have class. So this is what's going to be our homework assignment, number four. Um, check the folder there, or Blackboard, for assignment three. Remember, we started it together. We created that spreadsheet. That's due Friday. So remember to check the dates. This Friday? This Friday, yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be due on Monday. Uh, let me double check, but I'm pretty sure it's Friday. Let's see. That's why I wrote it down. For some reason, my... Oh, there we go. Uh, let's see, yep, Friday the 4th. This Friday the 4th is the Excel, and that's it. So we're going to have a little lab time now. If you'd like to print out any of these things, you can. They're also available on Blackboard. All the lectures I've been recording, they've been uploaded to Blackboard also. Uh, so check those out. Uh, any general questions? All right, so uh, have a good weekend, good holiday, take some cool Instagram photos, and we'll be back next Wednesday.